so here's what we know about, uh, first off, can I see, see that image right there? Um, if that's your image of evolution, no wonder that you probably, that you question it, especially if you're black or brown. Why is that? Because the person on the far right who's most evolved almost always, I could pull up a dozen of those images, and the person on the far right is always a white person. So what's that mean? It means if you're not white, you're like the second, you're, cl you're in between the white guy and the second person because you're brown or black in some way, and that means that you're closer to the apes than the white person. So it's no wonder, in my mind, that so many black people and brown people, like say here in the United States, don't accept evolution because that's the image that you have. I wouldn't accept that either because it's like, come on, the, the white people being most evolved is silly. That's not the image you should have of evolution. The human beings emerge somewhere in the Nilotic region right in here. And Homo sapiens, right? And went this way, went this way, went this way, went up into Asia Minor, came down into the Asia, up, eventually up this way, and it happened over a long period of time. And as it happened, two things, two really important things happened. People came, they encountered different climates, and certain body features were more amenable to certain kinds of climates than other bodily features. And so the people who had those features just thrived more so, and remember, Remember, it's not like today. Lifespan for so many thousands upon thousands of years was really short. So there's a lot of time for bodily feet for certain people or certain features to emerge as really dominant because the people who had those people, those features thrived. As people moved all over and generations upon generations upon generations continued to have children, people started looking very different. And then, and then you have, it's called genetic mutation. We associate genetic mutation negatively, like something like, you know, that, that happens and a gene mutates and then we get cancer or something. But genetic mutation is a general idea that some gene, for whatever reason, in somebody just changes. And then they got this little ridge in their ear, that person. And then they, maybe they have like six children. And for whatever reason, all six children have that same ridge in their ear. And then suddenly all their progeny had that little hook in their ear. And then maybe they have more kids. And then before you know it, here's this whole population of people that have this really kind of unique feature connected to their ear. Well, the same is true with all your other body parts. Just look, see, just look, see what I see. Just look at the immense variation. It's, I mean, it's really impressive, right? And that's all because everybody's ancestors emerged or evolved. Let me use the verb evolved in certain regions of the world. And over time and time and time, people like, you know, you have, say, like a Puerto Rican nose, let's say, right? You, I, I can see like the Indian, yeah. those Indios, the feature. Where's your family from in Ecuador? Uh, Guayaquil. Guayaquil? Yeah. I can just see it in your eyes, but. Oh, yeah. And ultimately, Ultimately, I want to show you that it's really, it doesn't really matter what our features are. We live in a world now in which we start judging one another because we have these like standards and systems of beauty and like, oh my God, I, I should be like this and I should be like that. But, you know, that's all just nonsense, right? And by the way, you'll never be happy if you follow other people's standards of beauty. So um, that's a true, yeah, I'll say three things all semester that are true. That's the first one. You'll never be happy if you follow other people's standards of beauty. Dude, what are they? African? What are they, bro? African? What are they, bro? African? South American? South American. African. African? Okay, so here it is. What do you say? African? Man. Okay, bro. Go to the next slide. So she's from Malaysia, he's from New Guinea. So they're both from like right here. They're Asian, actually. Some of the darkest people are not in Africa, actually. They're in India and, and down here. Okay, so here, go to the next slide. All right, man, who's Native American? I'm just, getting, I'm just giving you a couple quick stories here. Who's Native American? Native, look at them closely. It's not a trick question. Native American. Yo, is anybody Native American in here, by the way? Anyone have Native American blood? No, okay, what's your, what, what's your family history, though? Oh, um, on my mother's side, 
my grandfather's grandmother was uh, of Native American descent. Okay, dude, that's that's far off. So we don't expect you to get it right. No, I'm not getting who's Native American. D. Dude, not even close. All right. <laughs> how, how about? Do you want to give it a shot? Who do you think? Uh, I'd say B. No. Okay, who's got it? You got a 50-50 chance. Here it is. It's all you. Please don't mess it up. I was going to say A. It is A, right? Okay, so listen. So A, so can you go to the next slide? So check this out. So here's the pattern. See, see how it goes? Over here, cross the bearing straight, but some people settled here and some people stayed here. So if you go back to that photo really fast, so all these people stayed in the Asian side. They're all Siberians. So literally, really, they, they may, their ancestors may have only lived like 50 kilometers apart for their whole lives. But the issue is one person, one ancestry group crossed over the Bering Strait and the other one stayed here. So they have the same genes. You know, it would be like me and, and like my brother my biological brother, so, I, you know, he travels to, I don't know, uh, I don't know, two towns away. And in 500 years, we come back and we're like, well, we're really the same. We share genes and so on and so forth, right? So the other three groups are here. So this is part of the story. This is part of the evolutionary story. This is part of the, the human history, the human story. The more we understand that, the more curiosity we have about each one of us. And so as I look at people and I look at eyes and I look at shapes and I look at hair and I look at all these things, I'm just immensely curious.